welcome back to Dina Cruising's Your Life. I hope you're having an amazing day. are crazy always right for everybody holidays in our case we have birthdays uh, Thanksgiving Christmas and we have our cruise so it's going to be very busy so last week uh, just a couple days ago last Friday what I did was I decided I would do my monthly budget for till the end of the year and the reason I did that was because I really did think I'm going to be so busy doing stuff and there's going to be so much going on, I needed to make sure I plan well and hopefully no big emergencies come up. There's been a lot going on this year and I have had to put a few things on hold because of those emergencies. So what I thought was I would really think about all the different things and where I save and how I do this throughout the year. Things that I've saved for, things um, that I've wanted and planned for, traveling, things like that. One of the biggest things I guess I get asked is how would you pay for a family cruise? And I'm actually going to give you all the numbers, how much it costs. Um, I'm going to give you the exact information so you can see how much I spent and how I did it. And that will be coming on Wednesday. So please subscribe and hit the notification bell and you will get that on Wednesday. So I'm looking at the numbers in the budget. I always think like, how the heck do I actually pay for some of this stuff? It's like the numbers can be kind of staggering. But let me show you how some ways that I save. All right, so one of the things that I looked at this year was my Six Flags Magic Mountain Pass, and it has cost me about 90, or it cost me $90 a year. So it's about $7.50 monthly, and I realized that I could buy a season pass with Hurricane Harbor for around $75, sometimes less on the, on the sales. And that leads me to a savings of $15 annually. Doesn't seem like much, but we keep going. The next thing that I looked at was gym membership. Now I was going to the gym, um, all part of getting healthy, but then I looked at some of the items that are available free on YouTube, um, books that I have, DVDs that I have, things that I have available, and the membership cost me $120. Really wasn't getting enough out of it for $120 a year. So I basically cut that, but I cut it halfway through the year. So it did cost me $60 this year. And so $60 savings. So the next thing I looked at was where I've saved over the years is getting my hair cut. Now I cut my hair for five years now. Now and before that it was five years before that. Before that I used to pay about two hundred dollars a year to get my hair cut. I have cut that out over the years because it has just been something that I feel I can do myself. It may not be perfect may not be a hair salon perfect cut every time, but it looks okay and uh, you can't tell that it's uneven with the little layers that I give. So that is a $200 savings that I provided over the last 10 years of just cutting my own hair. I used to only go every three months, so if you go more than that, there's more savings. Now the other thing is something that I have done myself I've never had done at a salon, which is color my own hair. And I know that can be very pricey in the salon, but that is something that I've always done since I was about 18, so more than 30 years. 
Um, I went gray very early, so it's not something that I even could put on this spreadsheet because I've never actually paid for it. Um, I do pay for once a month to get a box of hair color. Looks like this. And that is the color that I used um, for quite a number of years. Maybe a good, maybe eight or nine years now. It seems to be the color of choice. Next on the list is car wash. Now I used to go about three times a month to the car wash and that annually cost me about $252 a year. I This year I know that I did go a few times um, according to the budget sheet which is around $56 is what I've spent so far this year. This year I know I've saved um, so far about $196 and hopefully I can keep doing it at home the rest of the year. Pedicures. Now I used to go once a month to get a pedicure but then they came out with this fabulous gel stuff and I only have to go about three times a month. So previ previously it used to cost me about $300 a year to get a pedicure a month every month and now I go every three months and it costs me around a hundred dollars which is a savings of two hundred dollars now manicures i used to go about twice a month to get a manicure i am just beat up my hands totally and so it used to cost me around six hundred dollars a year to get a mat to get manicures twice a month but <laughs> I've cut that down to once a month using the gel polish and while it's still kind of high, it's $420 a year for me, it is still a savings. But is, uh, that is the one luxury that I do like and for my type of work, I just prefer that my hands look rather professional on a day to day basis. Cable. This is something I cut um, a about five or six years ago. It's been quite a while now. I cut regular cable out which was costing us about $120 a month which ran over a thousand dollars a year. It was just crazy. I cut it down to Netflix and Hulu which now runs as $263.76 a year. Um, I keep it very basic Every once in a while, I'll throw on the free stars for seven days or free HBO for seven days, and then I cut it off. And then I do get Amazon Prime, but I order from Amazon Prime for things, so the shipping pretty much, or the free shipping pretty much pays for that. So I really don't even include that. And, and I do watch a lot of Amazon Prime shows. Um, I love their shows. So that has a huge savings of $1,176.24 annually. So one of the biggest things I spent money on was eating out. When I looked at my budget a couple years ago, maybe about three, four years ago, I looked at it and I was spending around $150 a month on eating out, which is ridiculous. I don't even know how I got into that habit. I was just like, I want to get away from the office and go sit and have lunch and I'd go to a restaurant and that was running quite expensive. So I literally cut it down to $40 a month, which is what I give myself. I don't care if there's an extra half a week in the month or anything, I give myself $40 a month and I spend that depending on if I want one really nice meal or little meals or I go to Del Taco on Taco Thursday where they have grilled chicken sandwich uh, grilled chicken tacos you get three for like two dollars and fifty cents I mean so I really make my forty dollars work for me and that's a savings of thirteen hundred and twenty dollars it is huge so I was spending on average $4,802 a year on these items. 
my current amount I spend is $1,454.76. Now I am literally down to what I feel I can cut out, but this still is a cruise. I mean, this is half a cruise, right? But we all have our vices, and so I couldn't go totally without anything. But my savings annually has become $3,347.24. So, so that is some of the ways that I have cut my budget in order to be able to travel, vacation, uh, pay off some bills, and buy some things maybe for my home that I truly, truly love. If you would like to share any of the ways that you have learned how to cut and save or sold things, eBay, what are your tips for being able to save for traveling, uh, vacations, cruises, that special something in your house? Leave a comment below and let me know. If you like this video, give it a little like. If you really liked it, subscribe. Take care and have a great day.